I'd like to register a complaint. And this is for you, Elon. I know you're a big fan of the channel and I needed to give you a little history lesson about this thing right here, this blue check mark and what it means and what it means now and what it meant then. Well, back in 2009, uh, there were a spate of false accounts that came up on Twitter of people impersonating uh, legends like Kanye West. Uh, and uh, Kanye filed a suit against Twitter to say, look, these people can't use my account. You need to do something to uh, tell people who my real um, uh, Twitter account is so that people don't get confused. And Twitter took this at the point somewhat seriously. And they put out a tweet saying, we verify that this is the real um, Twitter account. And, and shortly after that, it evolved into Twitter reaching out to very notable celebrities, people who were like legit famous, not just Twitter famous, but legit famous. And they got some version of this check on their profile. And verification became weirdly, it was supposed to be just a sign of saying this person is who they say they are and you cannot impersonate their accounts because we've told you who they really are because we saw their license or something like that. But it evolved very quickly because people saw that they couldn't get the blue check mark on their own. It evolved into something which was uh, sort of a badge of importance in the world. Like if you were verified, you were like, real. You were uh, um, important in some way. And this did, of course, cause controversy. Over uh, the years, as verification sort of expanded its criteria to notable activists, uh, to journalists like me, authors, um, lesser known musicians than Kanye West, verification uh, became one of those things that you sought after in, uh, in the internet. And there was a brief time, you know, in one of the many ups and downs of the movement where you could buy a check mark by bribing someone in Twitter. And I, I don't know what it cost, like a hundred bucks. I don't know. I got all of these messages that I should go bribe my way onto like an Instagram verification. I, I don't know how it worked, but the reason people wanted to do that is because that check mark meant something. If you were browsing through uh, your feeds on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, if you saw that blue check mark, it lent a certain amount of weight. And yeah, I've been verified on all of the places and I thought it was sort of cool too. I was like, hey, I've been verified. Like, you know, now I'm a real boy. All right, so that was sort of the situation. And there, there of course have been ups and downs with this. In India, uh, lower caste people, the Dalit caste, the untouchable caste, um, were very upset that Brahmins, the higher caste, were running the Twitter verification process there. And they alleged that, they, that, that their profiles weren't being verified, even if they were journalists or notable people of various ways. And the, you know, there was a big kerfuffle in India over this. And Twitter has been really trying to work and try to understand how this Twitter process happens. All right, well, as we all know, Elon Musk, you, my, my, my man who is watching my video right now, you, Elon, you, you took over Twitter and you realized that this verification badge was like super valuable to people. Like people cared, people cared whether they were verified. And you realized <clears throat> that there were lots of celebrities who were verified and you originally um, put it out for $19.99 per month. Anyone could go get a Twitter badge. Well, when that happened, well, two things happened. First of all, um, people immediately got on the, the, the Twitter badge bandwagon and started impersonating other companies. Uh, they, they, would, they would become Exxon, they would become other things, and they would be able, it's exactly where we started in 2009. People started impersonating uh, other m people who were supposed to be verified because the meaning of the badge had changed. Well, they sort of got a handle on that somehow. And, and then Stephen King tweeted, at Elon and said, $19.99 a month, you gotta be crazy. And Elon responded, okay, I'll, go, I'll, I'll, I'll lower it down to just $9 for you. And now we're in the verification paradigm that we're in. And if you go through Twitter, it is crazy. Look at someone who is properly famous, someone who earned their badge back in the old days, the classic badge. Um, and, and you'll see that everyone who, many people will comment on their very popular tweets. And you'll see that oh, there's a surprising number of people who now are, are 
also verified. They have they they've bought their 9.99 um, badge, and when you scroll through the feed, you're like, oh well, these guys are important people because we've signified that the blue badge actually means something. Um, and what I'm seeing, what I am seeing, is that it's the most conspiracy theory forward people who have this blue badge now. It is um, thousands and thousands of people. I don't I don't know the actual numbers, but what I, but what I see is that as I scroll through my feed. Uh, it's these people promoting conspiracy theories, anti-vax, um, anti-trans, um, you know, the, the ridiculously left woke stuff. Like th there are these people who were not taken seriously before, and now that they're they've got the now that they're wearing their badge, now that they're wearing their badge, um, it, it looks they have bought into this. And here's what I feel as as a proper badge holder, someone who has earned my badge in the classic era. It's bullshit. And the reason it's bullshit is because what it what is essentially done is is Twitter and soon Facebook and, and Instagram will be selling uh, have sold these badges and they are using these celebrities with their credibility. They're using Kanye West and Lady Gaga and Barack Obama and me to sell badges to these conspiracy theories. And now when you get these conspiracy theory people and and we the badge holders are essentially being used as advertisement. They're using our likeness to say um, that we're, it's all the same thing. And, 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 and that's, you know, that's wrong. It's, it's wrong because one, I didn't pay for this. I sort of earned it in a way. Not, not that I really care that I earned it, but it was a thing that was given because it was trying to verify. It had a certain meaning to it. Now that we have changed that meaning, it looks like the, those, those people who, were, who, who had that credibility lent onto them are advertising a service of badging um, uh, this Twitter blue, this $9.99 a month product to everyone. And I don't like it. I don't like it because now when I go through Twitter and I see someone has a badge, I'm like, ooh, that per person is probably on this sort of fringy conspiracy theory uh, side of things. Uh, and they're also making it so that if you were verified before, you no longer have um, security on your profile. Like you no longer have two-factor authentication. I mean, it's easier to hack those older badge um, people's profiles. This is, um, well, it's a problem. And I personally feel like I don't even want it anymore. Like like this, it, what, it, what it meant was like credibility or something, but it's irrelevant now. It doesn't mean what it did. And now what it means is that the person who has the badge has bought into this um, scheme that Elon Musk, you, my friend Elon, have put up. And I would rather you just, I mean, get rid of the program for me. I mean, you can keep the badge for other people. I, I don't care, but I don't want it. And I don't even see a way to get rid of it. I've looked on Twitter's uh, guidelines and I can't even see how I can remove the badge from my profile uh, and I would like to and I think that honestly everyone who was verified before should do it should just get rid of it because otherwise all you are doing is advertising this this campaign to for Elon to um, make his Twitter blue somewhat profitable so that's my issue with the badge I like to register a complaint. Thanks a lot.